Hervé Villachez couldn't overcome his addiction to women. Villachez was only 3 feet 10 inches tall, but his organs were the size of a much taller person. He took 20 pills every day. He had an unnatural lust for women, but even sex workers would refuse him. 1. Hervé Villachez was born in Nazi-occupied Paris. He had Filipino roots. He was the youngest of four sons. He was born with proportionate dwarfism. 2. Villachez's father tried to cure him. André Villachez was a surgeon. He tried to find treatment for dwarfism, but it could not be fixed. Hervé had many painful operations, but they did nothing. 3. Villachez was bullied at school. He had to live with his short height and small lungs. His dwarfism caused bullying in school. 4. Villachez's role in the 1974 Bond movie was a big break. Before that, he was living in his car and catching rats in LA. Playing knick-knack was the happiest time of his life. 5. Villachez was addicted to women. His co-star Roger Moore called him a maniac. Moore said Villachez would touch him and he'd say, Don't touch me. You are diseased. They went to film in Hong Kong. Villachez would find girls at clubs with a flashlight, saying, You. You. Not you. Moore asked Villachez how many women he slept with during the shoot. Villachez said 35, but Moore said it didn't count since he paid them. Sometimes when I pay, they refuse. Was Villachez's answer. 6. Villachez had a bad temper. He fought with producers and co-stars. This led to a bitter break with ABC. At his Fantasy Island peak, he was making $25,000 per episode. That's about $70,000 now. But by 1986, he had money issues. Villachez had blown the $3.6 million he made on the show. He kept acting, but he only made about $500 a month. 7. Villachez went through multiple marriages and divorces. Villachez married twice. His first wife, Anne Sadovsky, was an artist. They spent nine years together. After years of constant cheating and painful teasing, they divorced. Villachez met Camille Hagen on the Fantasy Island set. They married in 1980, but Hagen filed for divorce after 15 months. 8. Villachez was a jack of all trades. He dabbled in art, painting, and photography. At 21, he moved to New York City. It was his father's idea. Go to New York. It's where all the freaks go. Villachez learned English from TV. He joined Greenwich Village's avant-garde scene. 9. Villachez wanted to be called a midget rather than a dwarf. 10. Villachez was in constant pain. He never grew taller than 3 feet 10 inches, but his organs were the size of someone much taller. This put pressure on his entire body. Villachez had to take 20 pills every day. In his last years, he could only sleep kneeling by his bed, with his head on the mattress. Lying flat would compress his lungs. Constant pain led to a dire choice. In 1993, Villachez went into his garden. He sat against a wall, with pillows on his chest. This muted the coming blast. He put a gun to the pillows and pulled the trigger. Villachez was 50 years old 